New at six, a frightening threat against a church leader who was told his daughter had been kidnapped and was in danger. The suspects on the other line wanted money fast or else. Don't drop this call. Don't try to contact the police or anything else or we'll kill your daughter. So you've heard about these scams before. Well, now it's hitting close to home and it's highlighting the need to be vigilant. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabad live at six. Alex, this is an incredibly scary situation. Very scary, Fred, especially since the victim thought he heard his daughter's voice on the other line calling for help. Tonight, how you can be prepared for that same scam. You know, sometimes it's people that you know. After the frightening phone call, this sign likely has new meaning for a church leader here. That asked if I had a daughter, and I said yes. Then they told Mark said, Uptograph they kidnapped his daughter and wanted money, all of it playing out from his office inside the church. Don't drop this call. Don't try to contact the police or anything else or we'll kill your daughter. He even thought he heard them pass her the phone. Your dad's on the phone and I heard, you know, from a distance, Daddy, help me. So I was very concerned and, and, and panicked. His assistant called 911 for him while he went to go get money for the suspects. It was wasn't until police arrived time. he realized it was a scam. It's a shame that that's what the world's coming to. Tonight, tips that could prepare you for a similar situation. The Better Business Bureau says watch out for anyone who threatens you if you get off the phone or try to verify information. And always be wary of someone only accepting prepaid cards. Back to this church sign out front. I was fortunate that, first of all, my daughter was safe. And he was able to get help before losing any money. But the BBB says they're aware of other people who've lost thousands of dollars to that scam, so it's important to be extra vigilant all the time. Live in Uptown, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. Yeah, he was pretty fortunate. Alex, thank you.